Yo, what's up guys? It's a new video today. Alrighty. Um, oopsies. Alright. Uh, kind of spontaneous. What's up? My name is Juan. If you don't recognize me, it's probably because of the new haircut. I'm vlogging today in the cribby. Um, this is going to be a different video. It's not going to be no crazy concert, no crazy vlogs, no crazy nothing. Um, I just got something really cool in the mail and I just wanted to make a video about it. So this is it right here. We got the new stills mask from the homie. This is the stills X. Uh, I totally forgot the other guy's name. Jason, Jason Wong, Jose Wong. Totally forgot, but uh, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, yo, very excited. We got the we got the stickers and everything too. Check it out. This is actually this did not come with it, but this is one of his older packs. Um, it's a very long explanation, but uh, basically, if you don't know, my guy Stills, he is a photographer in the Miami area, and he is super dope. I've been following his stuff back when he was at like 5K. Um, my son has just been doing the dopest shit ever, you know, just photographing um, all these cool celebrities at these shows, rolling loud, sneaking in, doing all that cool stuff. And then he's gotten bigger and bigger and so big now that he's just making clothes, like, and he's directing. He's not even a photographer no more. He's a director now, yo, just for Bad Bunny and shit. It's, it's really dope. My guy has been working super hard and he's a big inspiration because of that. And uh, yeah, I just had to show support. Brown isn't really my color, as you can see. Brown is not my color at all, but you know what I'm saying? I just, it was the closest thing to black, so had to get that. So if anybody has a black mask, please let me know because that's the one I really want. But before we get uh, deep into this video, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody that's been watching as of lately. Um, I have been kind of MIA when it comes to YouTube. It's not my most successful route. Uh, Instagram is where you can find me best at Juan Carlos Leon Jr. But my last two videos have been doing really great. So I just had to point that out and uh, show love to everybody that's been watching. Um, I've actually been enjoying YouTube. So I thought that maybe I would continue that, you know? So I just wanted to make a video about this. Uh, kind of just freestyling it. I'm still getting used to this whole uh, YouTube thing. But yeah, basically the way stills goes is, yeah, Miami based. Just, yo, sneaking into shows, getting the photo at any means necessary, by any means necessary. And so I was thinking, you know, since this is like such a dope sh um, dope drop, what better way than to give it a photo shoot, right? So I'm thinking we might just head out to the backyard right now and do something cool, yo. So let's do that right now. Alrighty, y'all, so we are outside. It's kind of gloomy, so that's good. We got that natural diffusion, right? Um, we're here with the doggo. What's up, Lona? If you want to say hi to the vlog. We brought out the tripod, right? So we're just going to find a cool backdrop to shoot at here in the backyard because I don't really want to go far. Maybe I'll probably do it by the, uh, by the garage door, actually, since it's like a white drop. And we're going to try and recreate a stills photo. Um, if you don't know stills, this is probably like my third time talking about him, but um, he, uh, he has this really, really... Uh, kind of like iconic style of his it's um all polaroid based on his main page actually it's not yeah it is polaroid um but it's like a it's like a rare type of polaroid that you really can't find today it's been discontinued um i'm not trying to give out the sauce because i know you know all these photographers they got their sauce but you can't even afford it anyways it's, it's this really old pack of film that like it's called pack film it's literally called pack film that shit is like a hundred bucks a fucking pack, so I don't I don't think anybody's gonna steal his style. Um, but yeah, it's 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 got these square frames, these uh, the square frame, the white white border. It's uh, always like a headshot, real real up close, real tight. So I'm thinking we might just recreate that today and um, have the mask on. Let's try this bad boy out and see what's good, yo. Alrighty, it's unboxing time. Unboxing, unbagging, unmasking. I don't know. Open it up to the side. Woo! Alrighty, let's put this to the side. Yo, this thing is actually some pretty good quality, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's it's thick. It's a nice, real thick material. Um, I really like the bunny ears. I think um, they're really nice, nicely well stitched. They stay up nice. This is really nice. This is actually really like a thick material. I'm pretty sure this shit will keep you warm in the winter. Let's see the inside tag. 
attention to detail right there with the stills logo on it that is dope that is dope we love that attention to detail with the jose wong it's jose asian latino that's pretty cool i guess jose jose wong <laughs> that's dope that's cool we like diversity um this is sick then you have the rubber patch the iconic rubber patch with the three logos it's it's a sw this is a solid quality i'm not gonna lie he's gonna he's gonna have to hit me up and, and put me on to his to the supplier because i want to start making clothes this shit is dope as fuck what all right now for the final test one size fits all let's see <laughs> i guess yeah let's see let's cover the hair whoa yeah you cannot can't wear this in the summertime this thing this thing will heat you up but it's cool it's cool it's cool <laughs> all right uh oh siri's listening to me it's cool i think it's dope this is dope and then you could always wear it if you fold it up oh if you fold it up you can always wear it as like a beanie cap i think yeah so i think we fold it up like this right now it's like a more regular beanie uh, which actually looks pretty presentable I'm not gonna lie i think it looks it looks pretty dope um you got the little patch of hair popping out i think if you wear it backwards that's probably a little better right there you go and then you got that, that iconic beanie look yeah it's cool to me yo i fuck with it i just need a black one that's honestly it because like i said black black is my color so if you've got a black one hit me up i need that asap all right we can trade easy all right now let's do the shoot i'm probably gonna use the 6d because i want the best photo quality so we're probably gonna switch this over to iphone right no here boom there you go what's up guys we are going to shoot on the iPhone now, and we're going to take the 6D on the tripod. We're going to take it with us. We're probably going to shoot... I'm probably going to embarrass myself because everybody's driving right past. But I'm probably going to shoot right at the uh, garage door. We're going to take a look at it right now. Ooh. This is tough. Alrighty. And then we've got the garage door right here. It's a nice, calm, white background that we could probably use for our shoot. I'm thinking it's gonna be dope. Um, yeah, let's do it to work. So we want the white background. We're gonna shoot probably above shoulder, probably above like torso, right? So that we can get that classic headshot look. And uh, yeah, we're gonna throw the mask on. How do I look? Yeah, yo. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, it's an awfully busy day. But we got the camera set up. We got things set up. We got the white background, right? So we just gotta adjust the settings, make sure that we look good. And this will be a dope shot, all right? All right, guys, that's a wrap for me today. We took two photos because it got hella awkward. Everybody kept staring at me. Can't do this shit, honestly, <laughs> in public. I can't, I don't understand how YouTubers do this shit. This shit is so awkward having everybody looking at you while you're making a video while you're taking a photo people see a tripod a camera a mic on the camera and they just go crazy it's the fucking weirdest i can't i can't deal with it man <laughs> but yeah we're done with the little shoot and whoo it's dark as hell i think you're stuck and uh yeah we're gonna throw the photos into the computer we're gonna airdrop them to my phone because i'll probably just edit them on my phone it'll be a pretty quick edit and then you guys can see how they came out and it'll be really fun it'll be really fun Whew. oh my god that's a really thick mask bro that's a good quality man that was that was 80 dollars well spent yeah when the winter time comes my face gonna be warm as a motherfucker but uh yeah we also got these cool stickers um so a little backstory about this card, if you if you noticed, um, if you've been following stills, 
um, for the longest, like I have, he used to do these trading card packs. He released two drops. This is from the first drop. I got very lucky. I got a trippy red holographic. Really dope. That is cool. Um, this one is card 12 out of 30. So I don't really remember how that went. If he made like 30, no. Oh, because each card had 30 cards, if I, if I recall. So this is card 12 out of the 30th trippy red hollow maybe i don't know but it's cool because we got another hollow sticker that came in today and then we had the stills logo with the bunny with the bunny and the the crosshairs the hitman crosshairs right there i like to call it but um yeah yo this drop has been super dope and i'm really glad that i was able to support one of my favorite artists um it's been a while since you know we went from cards to freaking masks now i think that's the coolest shit ever to big inspiration for anybody that wants to do anything just know that it all takes time but eventually you can upgrade just like this bro you can go from little training uh, trading cards to freaking dope masks he's, he's done jackets he's done hoodies he's doing these crazy dunks man i mean can't call them dunks tiramisu red velvet it's dope it's dope so we're gonna start editing these photos right now and you'll get to see how they look and you let me know how i did all right thank you guys all right, yo, what's up guys? So we are here on the Snapseed app. Uh, I just thought I would edit these photos really quick on my phone because uh, they're not really that demanding of an edit. Um, so we're gonna open this photo right here. Ignore me, that's me at the beach. <laughs> All right. And so we got this dope photo. We got the nice little bokeh. T-shirt is blurry. You know what I'm saying? This is the Canon 16 to 35 f 2.8 mark 2 because i cannot afford the mark 3 it's fucking expensive and so we are just gonna probably freestyle this myself um this is gonna be probably a color accurate shoot we're not gonna really like tone it down grain it up we're not gonna do too much of that just because pack film was um pretty good pretty good especially with the flash it's a it's a pretty a color accurate um uh kind of film so I, I don't really need to like blow out anything that's all artistic choice i think uh i do want to blow out probably the white in the background just so that i can make it like a white background i think that looks really cool uh, bring the shadows down just so that i can get like a deep black on my shirt warmth do i want to mess with the warmth i could I got a little bit of warmth yeah and um yeah this is the before this is the after you hold your finger on it before, after, before, after. And I think this looks great. I think this is a really great starting point. Then we have a bunch more tools that we can start messing around with. I think, wow, look at that. So what I love about um, Snapseed in general is that it has a bunch of these tools. My favorite is definitely the curves tool just because of you can how you can mess around with the curves if you want, or you can just pick out a filter, a preset, right? And I really am digging this one that I, I, I guess I must've used last time, R01 it looks really good so i'm probably just gonna stick with that one and let's hit check before after i'm liking it i'm liking it i'm having a lot of fun with it so then let's see let's see what else we can mess around i feel like adding a little tiny bit of vignette just because like film is film it wasn't never that perfect so just a tiny bit of vignette maybe a lot of vignette i think would look really cool right so probably at like 20. I think this is starting to come out really great. And then what else? Probably a grainy film. I wouldn't even know. Something color accurate to, to the filters we've already done. I think this one. Yeah, I think, I think this one. But you know what we can do? The cool thing is that these filters, we can edit them after. So maybe this one. Oh, I don't know. There's so many good ones to choose, right? So the cool thing is that the style strength, I can bring it all the way down. So it doesn't even affect our photo. Right? Probably leave it at three. Because really, we just want to borrow a little bit of green. Probably bring that up to 30. Yeah. Yeah, this is coming out good. And I think before, after. Before, after. Before, after. So I think that's really good. And then we come on to frames. And then this is where we start 
being able to really imitate that um that stills look that we really love we could do something like this with a really messed up border something like this with like a more crumbly border i think this one is a really good one yeah i think i'm gonna stick with this one and then the frame width i think something i think something thin i don't know because they're they're pack film isn't thick like this it's it's like a it, it's kind of thin so i think even going i think probably like eight right here is a really good fit yeah yeah i think this is a really good fit right here and then we hit check and then before we export this let's actually go all the way to the side and let's save this as a filter so stills mask right save this as a filter let's export it and boom this is a really great shot right and so now let's open the second shot that i took without the mask on wearing it as like a beanie go to looks stills mask there you go you just throw the filter and there you go boom let's export that and boom we've got two photos ready to upload on instagram something quick something light photography is not that hard guys you know it's fun it's fun you just you just go ahead go ahead and you shoot what you like you know and today i was liking this mask so thank you guys you can always uh find me on youtube well of course you're gonna find me on youtube because you're watching this video um but you can always find me on instagram at juan carlos leon jr it should be in my profile um thank you guys for watching i want to upload more videos in the future i don't really know what i want to upload yet though but uh let this video be like a experiment you know if you guys fuck with it then i'll definitely upload more vlogish kind of things personal projects um and yeah you can really find me on instagram that's where i'm most active but uh yeah yo link tree coming soon because i'm actually managing like five different social media profiles but um yeah yo thank you guys for watching all right you're gonna see these on instagram very soon all right thank you love peace goodbye